Hey guys, it's great to see you. The brilliant thing about having the YouTube channel is that I can share with you my passion for everything cars and of course brilliant Assetto Corsa mods. And today I'm not going to be showcasing a mod necessarily but I'm going to be showcasing a modder. So some of the modders are Unsung Heroes and I believe this one is. So this modder is called Stereo from Race Department and I'm going to show off four of his recent cars so do jump on Race Department Grab the links in the description and do say hello and thank you for these awesome Assetto Corsa mods. This first mod is a car that has really grown on me in the last few years and I know when it came out, I remember when it was released, everybody said it was really ugly but this is the Bug Eye Subaru. So this is the 2002 stroke 2003 Subaru Impreza WRX Hot Hatch. The mod itself is done really well and has some great details including those very cool lights. Stereo has also brought in some other modding assets including Aphid God for the physics and Gary Patterson for the driver animations. There are more and they're all on the website. So when you go to race department, do say thank you to all of those guys for these fantastic mods. With the latest version of Sol and CSP 1.74 preview version that I'm running here, the paintwork looks absolutely fantastic in this blue. So this is the Subaru Impreza 2002-2003. This is the first car I'm gonna show you. Remember, all the links are in the description below. And if you do want more information about how to install mods on a set of Corset, including CSP and Sol, do check out my channel because there's lots more information on there. And I did say it's always about the small details on these mods. Somebody's left their CD on the floor. Absolutely love it. Now on to something completely different. So this next car is the 1959 Corvette C1 and this is version 1.1.2. So Stereo actually built this in three weeks and one of the things that I didn't say at the beginning of the video is that lots of these cars have had very quick production. So Stereo has even done one week cars so when you do check out his race department area do check out some of the other cars like the BMW that he's managed to put together in one week. Pretty incredible. This 1959 Chevrolet Corvette is a first generation chassis commonly referred to as the C1. The 1959 was very similar to the 1958 facelift but with slightly less chrome trim. And like most of the first generation Corvettes, this was about the fastest car you could buy on a working man's budget when it actually came out. Being a car from the 1950s, it's also important to realise that at its top speed of 130 miles an hour, this car is not going to handle too well. Very big tyres on it, lots of aero lift on the back end, so do be careful when driving it. And what I noticed is the brakes are terrible, but that's just the era. So enjoy this. This is the C1 Corvette 1959. The next car is one of my favourite cars in Assetto Corsa full stop and that is the Porsche 912R, this is version 1. This was released actually by Stereo on April the 1st this year, so very recent release. This is an absolutely beautiful car and I do like my old Porsches. So this is a 1968 Porsche 912, it's got a hopped up 1600cc flat 4 motor, it's the classic 911R inspired body. And of course it handles like a classic narrow bodied Porsche too. A little bit too much weight in the back, not enough traction and you do have to use that throttle a lot to prevent that oversteer. This was another quick turnaround project for Stereo and I cannot believe how good this looks when he's done it in such a short time. Stereo has used again other modders assets on this car so a big shout out to them. So you've got McLaren F1 Papa for the tyres. Kunos have actually provided the sound bank which is the Porsche 718. And you've got 67 JTM and Andy R who have done a number of the period skins and I would say that the skins on all of these cars are really cool. This is definitely one to add to the collection. Okay then now onto something completely different and I adore this car, it is crazy. I'm actually driving this at Sorrow County simply because it's got the longest straight that I could find in any of the tracks. What makes this so cool is it's built from several junkyard Dodge trucks. So the frame is a crew cab, the engine is a Cummins 6BT, the frame has been narrowed and the engine has been moved to the centre of the car with the driver sitting right back in its shadow. The suspension is nearly stock although the rear leaf springs have been thinned out since it's got no bed obviously on the back and of course the rear axle is fully custom. The winters a quick change with extremely low ratio drop gears to allow high speed from the truck transmission. So the truck originally went 85 miles per hour. You can see in this video it goes a lot quicker now. The addition then of a compound twin turbo, increased fueling, better internals and five times the stock output 
Red line is still 3000 RPM, but the turbo setup means that you're getting five bar boost from 1700 RPM. And just listen to it. Big shout out then to Stereo and all the other modders that do a fantastic job in keeping a set of Corsa alive. Thanks so much for watching guys. Do check out the rest of the channel as ever for lots more sim racing videos. And remember, if you do like what you see, click on that subscribe button. It really helps me to grow the channel. See you very soon guys.